Hey boys and girls, uh, welcome back to Monroe Live. And um, today we're going to be doing our little Thanksgiving, um, Thanksgiving show. And what we've decided to look at is the entire battery in the system and how it works together, jointly together, in order to make the, uh, the, the next generation of the models that are coming out from Tesla work. So we all know kind of uh, a little bit about the, um, uh, the Tesla batteries, um, or actually the cells. So over here in Nissan, I've got the 2170. And over here, I've got the, uh, the uh, 4680. So the 4680 and the 2170, uh, until you find out that there's uh, 4,416 of these babies in the Tesla Model Y, and you find out that, hey, there's 960 of these cells in what their next generation battery pack is going to look like, people are starting to ask questions now about, well, what, what's the reasoning and rationale behind that? So I'm going to tell you a little bit, <clears throat> a little bit about what I think. Okay, no one knows precisely <clears throat> what's going on with the, um, with the uh, Tesla battery pack that's coming down the pike. <clears throat> But we can tell you is that um, the battery pack with this type of a cell is going to be six times the power. It's going to have five times more energy and it's going to increase the range by about 16%. The better part is that this arrangement is probably going to be around half the cost of the old pack due to design. Now, Monroe & Associates has been in business for about 30 something years and our mantra and our most pirated example of why we're in business or stay in business is because we focus on product design. Product design isn't one thing, it's everything. You cannot take the old battery pack that Tesla had, the one with the uh, 2170s in it, and think that somehow through manufacturing you're going to be able to get the same amount of uh, power and energy and, uh, and cost out by somehow changing the manufacturing system. It isn't going to happen. What you have to have is you have to have a new design. And that's what this is. This is a new design. We are focusing our attentions on what's so, so much better about this versus what they had on the 2170. Now, <clears throat> Before we get going, I, I have to give you a little bit about um, a, a little bit of information about what the difference is between parallel and serial. So let's let's just look at uh, let's look at this first. If you look at that little black line, that would be the negative part of this battery. It's going to have something that I'm going to be able to tag, <coughs> and we think or I think it's going to be a spot weld. So we can take the, um, the collector over here to the rest of the batteries that are inside, or most of the batteries, or some of them. At the end of the day, that's kind of what we do over here, but this one is a little different in that um, it's using a small wire. I think that what was going to happen here is we're going to have a manifold with a collector, and we're going to spot weld, or they're going to spot weld that, and then they're going to have another tab that'll go into the center of the battery, that's the, um, that's the positive part, and that's going to be welded into the center. And I think they're going to do that to get rid of those little teeny tiny wires and make it so that it's a much more effective and efficient way to manufacture. So first, let's talk about series. So as I just mentioned, just like this battery, <clears throat> one end, the bump end, is the positive end. The other end, the flat end, is the negative end. Now, if I want to make this flashlight work, I take this one, put it in here, take another one, put it on top of it, screw it together so that the negatives and the positives are touching each other. And then I can turn on the flashlight. OK, so what's happening is each battery starts out negative and positive and then I take the negative part, or the positive part, I should say, and let it touch the negative part on the next battery, and it adds together. So now, <clears throat> what, 
when we look at this, this battery pack, you'll see that I've got a bunch of lines here. These lines denote that I think we're going to have four modules in each one of these different battery packs. Four modules. <clears throat> Inside of each module, we're going to have um, a connection, if you like. And what we're doing with this, where we, uh, where we basically attached um, uh, two batteries together in series, when we look over here, we're looking at groups of 10, groups of 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, groups of 10, and they're going to be basically put into um, uh, groups, just like what we saw here, that's going to give us 96 groups, which will give us 3.5 volts, because that's what this is, is a 3.5 volt system. 3.5 volts times the number of, uh, times the number of uh, cells, and that's going to give us about, when we look at the whole battery, 336 nominal volts. That, that means that all these cells coming together are kind of like daisy chaining each one to another. So let's have a look here. And you can see that on this little black line, which is the return line, the negative line, it's going through here, up here, and there's one of our connections. The rest of the battery is going through these connections here. It's going into the positive side, and then it's connected here, and we see this repeat over here, and then again, another, another uh, 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 sorry, another bus bar going from this collector to this, and then it's going to come through here, comes over to this side, and then we got over to here, and now we come back through the system, and you can see down here on the silvery one, this is our positive side. So we have the positive and the negative side coming together, and now I can plug that into uh, the inverter or the power distribution area into the into the um, electronics bay, and then I can I can I can power up the car. Now, what we're looking at here is the red dots. You can see those are stuck in the center of the um, or the in the center of the battery. The black dots they're connected as well, but what they're doing is they're being connected on the edge. If you look at this uh, kind of carefully, you'll see that this uh, group here of black dots where we're welding it together goes around in a circle and then connects over here. And now what we've got, we've got a little circuit. Now on the other end, that circuit is going to be turning it into not just 10 little batteries, but into one ba basic charge that we're going to live with. Now, <laughs> they're not going to do this. They're not going to have little strings and whatnot going from battery to battery. I think what they're going to do is they're going to use a manifold. So let's talk about the manifold, which is basically a bunch of collectors. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use something from an ICE vehicle. This, this right here is what you get if you kind of a strip apart um, a, a cylinder head gasket. All right. So you can see that each one of these different parts uh, looks a little bit different. At, at least they have different colors. And that's because some of them are, are insulated. Some of them have little pieces of uh, crush areas so that the gasket will, uh, will work better, will, will, will retain the, uh, the pressure from the, from the system. And some of them, <clears throat> like this one right here, they have, um, they have a, uh, a wetting surface to make sure that when you push these things together <clears throat> and under the first load, this wetting surface will make a great seal for you. The other thing you can notice too is that <clears throat> not all of these pieces look exactly the same. This one and that one may look a little bit the same, but this one, this one has a tab on the end of it to do other jobs. The same thing is going to be true here. And the way it works is you're going to have a lower section, which is an insulator. And it, we're going to call that D1. That's the biggest diameter. The next collector, the negative collector, it's going to be D2. D2 is going to be smaller than D1. And the reason for that is because we need to spot weld this 
to the edge of the to the edge of the uh, uh, the the battery cell. So I need to get my negative to the negative. So that negative plate will be welded somewhere around here. I've just arbitrarily picked a spot. Then we've got to have an insulator that goes between the negative collector and the positive collector. <clears throat> so that piece of insulation that you've got right here, that piece of insulation is going to go in. And now that is the same size as D1, a bigger hole than what we saw with D2. And then at the bottom, we've got the positive collector. And the positive collector, it's going to have a tab that's going to go over the top of the center, just like I said before, in the center. That is going to be where, uh, where a spot weld is going to come in and spot weld that tab to this cell. Now, let me just uh, destroy this a smidge to show you where I'm talking about. That's the uh, positive and, whoops, wrong color. <clears throat> and this is the negative. Okay, so a little spot weld is going to come in here to give me connection to the spot to the uh, to the positive side and this one's going to be going to the negative side and you're going to see these things in parallel you can see them in this uh, little illustration right here and that's what's kind of going to give us what we uh, what we're looking for in creating this entire battery pack the um, <clears throat> the uh, the long and short of it is this is our perception of how it's being done uh, I realize that this is not as uh, as uh, detailed as maybe some people would like and other people are going to tell me that it was too confusing because it's over your head but at the end of the day if you have a look at this thing a couple three times you can see what we're trying to get across we're not trying to educate somebody on how they can design their own battery pack and we're definitely not uh, <laughs> we're definitely not telling you uh, uh, everything that can be done here and we're not trying to confuse you either but at the end of the day this is how it's going and if you want to think about it, <clears throat> this one section right here, with all the connections and everything else, is just nothing but one cell kind of like this. Okay? Just think of it as that, with the negative end at that end, and the positive end at this end, and then over here, again, the, uh, the negative end, over to that, back around, in here, out there. It's nothing different than just taking two parts and putting them together like that. That's all it is. <clears throat> so it's not a big giant mystery, but I will tell you, there was a lot of arguing on how this was going to be put together. We, uh, <clears throat> we definitely did not agree um, on everything that you see here, but eventually this is what we came up with. We believe that this is close to what Tesla has. So with that, I'd like to uh, uh, shut it down. Uh, wish you all a Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. If you were watching this, you probably, uh, probably had enough stuffing to uh, uh, make it so that you went comatose and you wanted uh, nothing to do but watch something that might put you to sleep. So hopefully this won't put you to sleep, but, but I'm, I'm, hoping that, uh, I'm hoping that it was informative or semi-informative. So let's, um, uh, let me ask one more thing. We're about... Um, we're about a thousand subscribers behind. We got 900 and sorry, 99,104 subscribers currently. I'd really like to hit 100,000 by the time we hit um, uh, Thanksgiving, or at least at least the end of Thanksgiving, so we can start giving out Christmas presents in the way in the in in the way of uh, handing out some of those uh, parts to the uh, Tesla Model Y. Um, thank you all for uh, attending this, uh, this Thanksgiving is going to be a lot different than every other one. So I'm hoping that, uh, hoping that you'll still have a blessed Thanksgiving and we want to make sure that you keep, um, tipping those cashiers and, um, and watching uh, Monroe live. Thank you so much. Bye.